Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today we'll be breaking down a character controller in Godot engine using the orchestrator. So here I've created um, a very simple 3D scene and in this 3D scene we can be able to create uh, several things. So right now we'll have this 3D scene and I will be able to play so that I will explain how these things we are done. So I've imported my 3D uh, character from the past project from our past series in Godot 3.5 Visual Scripting. So right now, when you open this project, you can be able to play it. And you have the idle animation on and you can be able to move and you can turn and then you can move to other directions. Now the only problem I found with this particular orchestrator is that uh, applying the same principle that I have in the visual scripting, it has problems with um, trying to adjust, maybe trying to press uh, forward and right at the same time, it will not work. So but when you press right, it can turn, so you can move around to different parts of your environment. And the collision actually works properly too. So we'll have here and you can be able to do this so uh i think there's a space here and i'll cover that up so you have um, a very simple character controller we have a camera so let's go ahead to break it down so if you go to the character you actually see um what we have in the code the first thing i will have is i will have a ready so the ready sets the animation active and that's the animation tree good so we'll have the animation tree if you go to your character let's actually go to our character so you actually see what we have here so we'll have the animation player and then here you actually have the animation tree under the player so it's somewhere down here the animation tree that's what we're using to play the animation we'll go down so this is the animation tree we need to play the animation so here we are setting the animation of uh, three to be active and then the parameter which is actually uh, the blend because we are actually blending the animations so we'll have the walk back or the walk um, idle animation and also the walk forward so we are setting the idle animation here active and that's the reason when you, once you start the game the thing is already on the idle animation so here we'll have the physics process and it starts with the branch so when we press the up arrow that's on the keyboard we will have the character slide and move so but we want to move translate on a particular axis and that's on the z axis now if you put this alone it's not going to be able to move it this is more like the velocity and what you know makes it to be able to move to a particular direction so this is where the velocity is so um, in visual scripting the old one the the velocity comes with the move and slide but here we'll have we have to use a translate uh, object local to be able to actually put the, the velocity then when it's false you actually have uh, an additional thing here so we'll have the up arrow when it's released so this code was very necessary because i discovered that whenever you're done pressing your um, up arrow the animation continues okay i didn't finish this so here once you move it will set the animation um, the animation tree active and then the parameter will not become the walk forward animation that's one that's if you look at it from here there's one the forward animation so you to set it to, to one and by the way how to get this is that you just uh, simply drag it uh, out from this panel here so let's say here you have uh, the blend and you can just drag it out from here and you have get parameter so right here we'll have uh, so this second thing that we did here we said when you up arrow is released then the branch should set active and then it should um, set the parameter to zero so it's going to go back to the idle animation once you stop pressing this button so the same thing we'll do for the down button you know, if that's true you have to move and slide move on negative um, that's backwards and then we'll set this active and then we'll set it to the negative that's the, the backwards animation so the next thing that we'll have here is um this here we'll have the release 
so um, when you release the down button it should also set this active but then change it back to the idle animation now when this is done you want to work with the right so this is where the rotation comes in so for rotate we use the call rotate on the y-axis and then i use just minus 0 0.03 so it says this active and then it sets it to idle animation. Now what one is turning, it should go into the idle animation when you're turning. Then here we'll have the left rotate and there's um check the branch and then you see um, call rotate y and then you change it to 0 0.03. So it's gonna be rotating on the y-axis still and then it sets this active and then it takes it back to the idle animation. Alright, so that's basically how we can be able to make this work. So if you actually see uh, our animation here, uh, it's basically uh, just to show that the orchestrator is quite very good and it can be able to do, you know, much of the things that the old visual script, in fact, it actually does more because um, I realized that there were some kind of things I used to do in, in visual scripting um, in my past series where I had to right extra codes to be able to actually make this to move you know the right way so but here i think they fixed that in the orchestrator so it's quite very nice and the, the animation is quite very very good and i like it so you can be able to move so the next thing we're going to be learning is how to be able to pick up coins so i have this coin here so uh, i've already animated it so we can be able to actually pick up the coins and have it display on a horn so uh, that's a ui all right, so uh, if you want uh, a step-by-step -step tutorial, go into the comments and write that the step-by-step tutorial of how I created this uh, uh, work cycle or this uh, work. But I think I've already explained everything. But if you don't understand it and you want step-by-step, uh, -step, you can either watch my series who have done that already, or you can simply uh, go ahead to write in the comments to ask me to create it and I will create a step-by-step -step tutorial for this particular uh, thing here. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.